Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's list, uh, Wasubi list, uh, short video today to you guys. Um, I'm currently, while you're watching this, I'm on vacation in a cabin in the woods. Hopefully I'm not getting uh, chased by a man in a hockey mask, but... <laughs> um, uh, I'll, I'm going to put up a couple videos this week. I'll space them out the best I can. Um, and then I'll uh, be back to regular content on Saturday. But um, going through the list, uh, you got Vigo's Muzzle in here. It's a swarm list. It's, I feel it's a 2-0 list. Um, you just try to win round one by getting some spawns and then using your talismans and everything to uh, just wipe them out round two. Especially against like Syndicate where they're trying to get bounties and stuff and you know, you got ones and twos on the board, so they they really struggle against it. Um, but muzzle, there's a lot of good muzzle targets. You're always going to find value in that. Uh, Trisk Telekinesis, um, if you got a whole bunch on the board, she's another sweeper with Talisman and Yennefer. Um, there, you can spawn more drones. Uh, and every once in a while, you might want to use the Hideous Feast, but usually you're trying to s fill up the board or uh, boost the board. Uh, Yennefer a uh, whispering hillock target you want to play it then play hillock buff everything up nuke them out same thing with zoltan make sure you leave room on your range row so you can play the uh companion uh Geralt, just a nice tall removal if you are going up against like uh uh skellige you know they got huge units you know you can knock that down possibly to win round one too um, just so you can go for the 2-0 Nogglefar auto include monsters. Hillock, as I mentioned, you know, you uh, play the Yennefer or Zoltan, and, or, you know, possibly the Triss and get it through. Or even, you know, the Behemoth, you know, if you got a big row, you can boost that up and then uh, spawn some more drones, get your Talisman enabled a little better. Uh, tribute, you could pull Hillock with this, or you could pull, you know, some of your. Uh, you could pull Parasite, you could pull the Hideous Feast, or you could pull the Nests. And when you do play one, it does spawn a uh, another Arrakis, so that's pretty great. Queen, just a nice way to uh, get rid of a poison, possibly, if it's something does get big, uh, or a bounty. Um, if not, you got a bleed. That's pretty good. Bone Talisman, you know, if you fill up the board, it's 20 points. Pretty great. Uh, 18 points, I'm sorry. Um... Parasite, just a nice way to get rid of like a priest if you're not going to be able to handle the, you know, the first one. Uh, Hideous Feast, it gets rid of executioners and buffs up your other stuff you might want to save. Larva is just a nice way to fill up the row and, uh, you know, possibly get a couple thrives out of it because you do have Yennefer's and stuff like that. Um, the nests, as we mentioned, you probably don't want them in hand. You probably want to pull them through your tribute or your. Uh, Yennefer or your uh, Triss. Triss pulls them automatically, but uh, you know it's nice to thin through the list so you can hopefully find your good stuff. Uh, natural selection, there's two of them. No matter what, it's going to spawn a drone because of um, Queen's new ability. Um, the Plumber's pretty much the only mulligan fodder. You don't really want these. And the Andriga Warriors save something from bleeding if it might die, or you know something that's poisoned. Uh, and then the uh, Indriga Egg, primary target for that is the Warrior. You can, worst case scenario, use um, Hillock on it to get the board bigger, you know, but not really a, you know, optimal use of it. Uh, but uh, here's the game, guys. Like always, thank you, thank you for watching. And I will see you at the end. Eats. So we got one big answer. I think if we get rid of this, we'll. Should be okay. So we play that. 
Why did it spawn an extra one? So we just play this. Double bleed. What can we pull with our... Let's see what we get here. Range boost, huh? Works for me. 47. plays another card I don't unless he has Igni I just don't see it Illy so he needs It's one thrive. Let's see. So the 13 does it. He's got to use leader abilities. That don't do it. He goes down a card. can't bleed us now. We got an answer for one of his tall things. Really? Wow. So we kill one of those? Stay up, we play the, the larva. That's not that great. So we bleed this. This is this is his pass. Bleed six, huh? This hasn't gone past the point of no return yet. I think I'm going to use this for the ability. Play the agitator. Twenty six. We can play it again. So 
So I think we I think we just play this. Although we don't have a way to enable it. I think we just go parasite. Does he play this card? We've got five. Granted, there's some wacky cards here. We used our big boys. I think we dropped natural selection. Talisman might be huge. Unless he has lacerate. Maybe we get rid of the queen. So, I think we just go Andriga. Okay. So we got the answer for that right there. We play it up here. Because we're going to have a whole ton of them. <laughs> Go here. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, Wasubi, thanks for the list, brother. Um, currently, I'm on vacation, so I should have a couple more videos out this week. But uh, if not, I'll, I'll, I'll have something up on Saturday for sure. Like always, guys, thank you, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.